push, push, push. Oh, oh, that's all right. Oh, I'm about to crash. Uh, yep, I am crashing. Run of me, jeez. Welcome everybody to another adventure of mine. I did another shout out on social media and uh, we had five willing riders last night, but for different reasons, three of us have turned up for the ride today and we're going to explore the Hampton and Janolan State Forest. All types of rides to be had, enduro, adventure riding, a few hill climbs, whatever we see we're going to take on. But in front of me, we've got Riley, his weapon of choice is an old school Carlisle 650, so that's awesome. He'll be working pretty hard though. And then in front of him we've got Will, and his weapon of choice is a WR450F. And then of course my trusty tractor at the back end here, the DRZ400E um, in its Duro mode, not adventure mode today. I've got the old school tank on. But anyway, let's get amongst it, let's have some fun, let's have some laughs and uh, see what we can achieve as a uh, random group. Here goes Riley on his uh, KLR. Unfortunately, he's got quite slick tyres and a very big bike. Um, luckily, oh, he's down, he's down. You all right? So whilst we're filming here, um, it looks like Riley, I've never seen this. Um, Riley, on the first bloody track, has sheared off his um, his foot bloody peg. That just looks like die cast, doesn't it? That's excellent. Will was um, going totally fine, but I've never seen that before, man. Um, that's kind of your ride done, I think. I'm lucky it happened in the beginning of the ride, but really, you don't want that to happen at all. But um, that is just, just unlucky, as simple as that. So we'll escort him out to get into safety, and um, he's going to maybe try and meet up with us later on. Um, but otherwise, we're down to two riders already. Bloody crazy stuff. Go Sally, go! Go Sally! <laughs> yeah, he knows how to ride. I actually wish I didn't invite him now because I can't, <laughs> I can't do any of that. How good is this? Pop of monos up a hill. Very impressive. The problem with these hill climbs of this temperature, I can only really feel when torque the visor down, but halfway up the hill, my visor is fogging up and I can't see where I'm going. Bit of a river crossing. I'm losing traction, I'm losing traction. <laughs> Go Sally. <laughs> Go Sally. I've got no traction. <laughs> yeah, that counts. That bloody counts. Oh, unreal. Here comes a WR. This is definitely turning out to an Enduro day. Look at his bike eating up the train. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. You all right? Well, we're descending the very first hill that uh, took the life of the KLR, so to speak. And we're going to just see if he's still there trying to fix his peg. Otherwise, um, that means he's gone home and um, we'll continue on. But um, yeah, he said he might be able to fix it where he was and he was happy for us to, happy for us to continue. Jeez, don't you start fogging up, visor. I need to see where I'm going. Ooh, sketchy, sketchy. I really needed better gearing for this. I'm just waiting for the WR to go flying past me, unless he's being respectful <laughs> and letting me be the slow coach of the trip. Ah, oh, beautiful. Come on, Sally. Heat up the terrain. So, Riley, indeed, I did not think he was going to um, be standing there when we came back, but credit to him, he salvaged his peg here, wrapped up some bush mechanics, which is what you need when you're on your own, so it's good he's got the skill set, and look at that, brand new bike, unreal, awesome work bro, 
Love this little section of the track. I remember this, um, like an old water pipe back in the day that they used to punch through the bush. I don't know if it's still used or not, but it's a pretty cool track to just uh, break up the hardcore stuff. You know, go a bit slow, get your energy back and whatnot, lose a bit of arm pump, and just enjoy some, you know, old school, old school infrastructure, as they say. Oh, that was a bit deeper than I thought. But yeah, it's pretty cool uh, to be able to experience this anyway. Absolute freaking doozy of a hill. I haven't been here in about two and a half years and it didn't look like this, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what transpires. Oh shit. Ah shit, 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 shit. No, that's not good. What am I doing? That's not how you do it at all. Go Will, go, go, go. He's up. Beautiful. Come on, Sally. What am I doing here? Got to stand. Come on, Sally. Oh shit. Yep, there's a drop. I can just hit a big rock. I spoke too soon about this hill. What the? Hit neutral and it's all over. Red Rover. That's alright, happens. Here comes Will. Giving me space. That's it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it, hit it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, I hate him now. He's done it, yeah, he's done it better than me. Good on him. Oh, the KLR's coming. Go, 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 go. What the hell's going on here? Oh, he's doing better than me. Unbelievable. How good's that? Here we go. Come on, Lance. Oh. Come on, Lance. Come on, Sally. Get up there, don't let me down. Oh yeah. Well there we go, it just shows that it does snow here and um, we're only really a couple of weeks into winter. Bit of snow left. Probably not much to some, but um, for us Aussies that live in Sydney, it's quite a rare occasion. So I think we're gonna have plenty of that this year up here. Skis out, mate. Yeah, yeah. Sally's only been in the snow once in her life and it wasn't a long lived trip anyway. Well, as you've seen, we've had some awesome fun on some hills and some sticky situations. We lost a rider, gained a rider, lost a part, fixed a part, all the good stuff. But now, we're hunting out Gilbrowta Rock for a bit of a lookout and just a bit of a uh, slower pace. And then from there, we're just going to zigzag on any trails we come across and uh, see what happens. It's quite enjoyable. There's some more snow there. Awesome to see. I do love it out here, um, but unfortunately, I haven't been here so long because my last time, I was pretty scarred from an instant where I was on my own and I was fanging it through the fire trials and at 80k an hour I ran over a kangaroo. Um, I did kill that kangaroo sourly but um, somehow, I don't know how, but I didn't have a head on with a tree that was right in front of me um, and I saved myself. Had to then save the joey on the kangaroo. Wait for wires, I put the joey in my backpack. I did the best I could but uh, I don't know, I've never been back since really so I'm glad I'm back now. Um, exploring again even though today is more hardcore type riding from what I'm used to I'm really enjoying it but I always love being able to just come down a, an awesome trail like this I've got a guy in front of me, a guy behind me beautiful beautiful scenery and uh, once again just putting on display 
the perfect, perfect Australian bush at its finest. Mountains, ridge lines, trees, just good old fashioned bush. I love it, really love it. And these are the sort of tracks I actually like to go a bit slower on for another reason, just to take in the sights. Um, Cause it might be, you know, another month or two weeks from in the bush again. So I just like to get my fix, I guess. Give this hill a go. But it looks like a bit of a doozy. Oh, come on. Come on, Sally. So close, so close. That's rubbish. I'm just there, Lance. Zero, zero traction. Go, go, go. Someone's got to make it. Go, go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Like a pro. Good work. Here comes Mr. Graham Jarvis himself, who's just absolutely banging it down the mountain. And now, I'm about to crash. Uh, yep, I am crashing, because I'm a dummy idiot who's not riding very good at the moment. I tell you what, I was really vibing the group ride today and it's bloody paying off. I'm riding with two awesome blokes, um, and everyone knows I'm normally solo, but um, it's just a perfect combination of no one's pushing anyone into anything they don't want to do, yet, like Riley, for example, is happy to let us do a hill climb I just wait at the bottom um, and then we return to here like it's just a really good mix of dudes and um, that is what it's all about in my opinion everyone looking after each other oh balls that up <laughs> no throttle at all <laughs> just nose dive into the dirtiest puddle ever so good I tell you what, there's so many trails here, I've completely forgotten the uh, never-ending amount. I need to do another purpose-built adventure right out here, or maybe an overnighter. Um, avoid the harder stuff, but come a bit of kit and uh, get amongst it, whether that's solo or not. But this has been an absolute gem of a day. A couple of drops, a couple of little crashes, but no injuries, no real significant breaks on the bike, so that's always positive. Still got a bit of riding to go, but I mean, how can you not love the Australian bush? Just check this stuff out. So good. Pretty sure you got a little. Oh, oh wow, that used to be a river crossing. That's been totally, totally washed out. Here we go. Good old Will has uh, done the scouting for us, and we can cross. Yeah, awesome. Oh, jeez, what was I doing? That was actually a bit more dangerous than I thought. So Riley's committing with the uh, the KLR, with his semi-slicks. Um, although this doesn't look like much, it's actually quite challenging just with how slippery it is and zero run-up in the off-camber route here. But here he goes. Push, push, push. Oh, oh that's all right. Oh, my. You right, getting it up? Yeah. Um. I got it. Oh. It's not the biggest bike, but I tell you what, three men still to bloody move it. Just go to show how much easier it is on these smaller ones. Good work, man. So, so it turns out the KLR might have a fuel issue, and we're pretty close to home and he's running out quickly and we don't know why yet so this track up here is our quickest route and um, we're just going to give that a shot I was going to take um, Will's route just a bit more smoother but might look a bit stupid what we're doing because obviously there's more trails there but 
if he's lost that much fuel, the safest thing for us is just to get to the main road with as least possible kilometres, and, and this is the route. So straight through here, zigzag, zigzag, 200 metres on the road, eight kilometres to the cars, and then we can suss out the problem there rather than being stuck in the bush here and um, worrying about it now. Well, the sun's getting low. Um, we're now winding our way back to the car, but I'm going to do a wrap-up. It's been a sensational day. Thanks to Will and his WR in front of me. Thanks to Riley and his KLR behind me. Um, two top blokes and certainly ride as well, which is good. Um, it's been absolutely awesome. But please like, subscribe and comment. I'll try to get back to you where I can. And keep a watch out on the channel because it's under wraps for now for certain reasons. But hopefully in two months' time, I'm going to be on a major expedition with another rider and um, we're going to do a bucket list ride where hopefully I can bring some awesome um, videos and experiences of um, how I think the ride was to you guys who are watching my channel so keep an eye on for that anyway catch us all next time and have a good one